So, 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 you want to learn how to program your own drum grooves. I'm talking about... Well, you've come to the right place, because in this video, we're going to go through everything you need to know to start programming your own drums and making your own beats. Let's, let's, let's get it. Get it, get it. How to program drums. Okay, we're going to start by programming a basic rock beat, such as the beat heard on Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. After creating a track and loading a drum kit, step one is to put a kick drum on beats one and three and a snare on beats two and four. This is called a backbeat, a rhythm common to rock and pop in which beats two and four are accented. In most software instrument drum kits, your kick will be on C1 and your snare will be on D1. From there, we're gonna put in hi-hats playing straight eighth notes across the whole measure. Your hi-hat can usually be found on F sharp one. Awesome. This beat is in some ways the archetypal beat of rock and pop that most other beats will be derivative of in one way or another. You should also be aware of its halftime form, in which the same concept is stretched to occupy twice the amount of time. And its double time form, in which the same concept is squeezed into half the amount of time. But you want to do more than just make basic beats, because you are more than just a basic person. So let's learn how to expand and embellish this a little bit. Spice things up. You also may want to incorporate triplets, or subdivisions smaller than a 16th note. For this, we're going to have to alter the way our grid is subdivided. In Logic, we do this in our transport. First, click this down arrow, and make sure your transport is set to custom. Now, under our time signature, we see this slash 16. This means the MIDI grid is divided into 16 slices, or 16th notes. Click on the 16 to access all of your subdivision options. And once you select one, the vertical lines in the piano roll should reflect the change. Now we can program virtually any, any rhythm. rhythm. Instead of playing straight eighth notes, try making the hi-hat do something a little more interesting. Maybe something like this. Or this. Or this. It's also common to add a few well-placed open hi-hats. Real drummers hold the two hi-hat symbols tightly together by stepping on a pedal. How tightly they hold the pedal affects the sound of the hi-hat. Sometimes they lift their foot momentarily to create a quick. We can simulate this in our DAW with the F sharp, G sharp, and A sharp keys, which trigger the hi-hat at different states of openness. We can also add variation to the snare by moving around the hits or by adding more. But be careful with this. A beat with a lot of snare hits is gonna work best if most of those hits are of a quieter volume. These quieter notes are called ghost notes, and we can simulate this using velocity. Velocity determines how hard or soft a note hits, and can be adjusted with the slider in the bottom left of the piano roll. Notice how softer notes are cooler colors, and harder notes are warmer colors. Here's a beat that incorporates ghost notes on the snare. Lastly, let's spice up this kick drum pattern. You can put your kick hits pretty much anywhere in the measure, and feel free to utilize smaller subdivisions. In most genres, you won't hear more than two consecutive notes on the kick. Although in metal, where drummers often play with a double kick pedal, or two bass drums if they're really cool, it's very common to hear many consecutive notes, and very complex kick patterns. So far we've only covered the fundamental parts of the drum kit, the kick, the snare, and the hi-hat. But MIDI drum kits come with all kinds of fun stuff. Make sure to explore the whole kit. The last thing we'll cover is swing. If you want to be a cool cat, your grooves have to be swinging. And nothing swings harder than a computer, obviously. A groove is said to swing when it has a triplet feel. But it's not quite that simple. Because if we simply set our grid to a triplet subdivision and made a beat, it would sound like a bad parody of swing. In reality, swing is when a groove's feel is somewhere in between a straight feel and a triplet feel. Where exactly in between? Well, that all depends on just how hip you really are. There are all kinds of variations on the swing feel, from the swung eighth note feel you just heard, to the up-tempo swing that you hear in a lot of bebop jazz, to the quintuplet and subtuplet swing that's heard in a lot of modern hip-hop and neo-soul. We can add swing to our beats in the time quantize section of the piano roll. 
Logic gives us six options for how hard of a swing we want. In option A, the swing is barely perceptible. As we make our way towards option E, we move towards the triplet. And at option F, we're past the triplet. The strength and swing sliders determine how much this preset's being applied to whatever we initially plugged in. So congrats, you're now well on your way to becoming the hippest cat on the block. Here's a few examples of some beats that swing. So that's it for the basics of programming beats. There will be a learning curve where putting your notes in the right place will involve some trial and error, but you'll get used to it, and the more you do it, the more quickly you'll be able to make your ideas happen. I promise. And by the way, if you want to go deeper on this stuff, I have a 10-part series where I go through all of Logic's tools for rhythmic production. Step sequencer, drum machine designer, producer kits, ultra beat, all of it. I'll link to that somewhere on this page. For now, go make a few beats. I'll see you in the next video.